Today, we are standing here for justice as we bring forward the George Floyd Justice in Policing Act. Exactly one month ago, George Floyd spoke his final words, I can't breathe, and changed the course of history. Since that horrific day, Americans from every walk of life and corner of the country have been marching, protesting, and demanding that this moment of national agony become one of national action. Today, with the George Floyd Justice and Policing Act, the House is honoring his life and the lives of all killed by police brutality and pledging never again. <laughs> Today, we have the opportunity and the obligation to ensure that his death and the deaths of so many others are not in vain. When we pass this bill, the Senate will have a choice to honor George Floyd's life or to do nothing. His death will not be just another black man dead at the hands of the police. Sadly, people around the world are marching for human rights in America. The United Nations has held discussions about human rights in America. We are supposed to be the beacon of hope for human rights in other countries, and the Justice and Policing Act is a bill for human rights in our country.